do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends now we are going to talk about a new concept that is known as electrochemical series and what is electrochemical series let me tell you about a very glimpse about it so electrochemical series is a series in which we could predict that which of the electrode can show oxidation process and which one of the electrode can show reduction process very easily so let us talk about it in a very deep detail so electrochemical series means it is defined as the arrangement of electrodes and in this case metals or non metals in contact with their ions can also be electrode because as we know that electrodes are not only the metals but it uh, in that gas are also been uh, taken as electrodes uh, provided that they are attached to the inner electrodes like platinum so in this case those electrodes with the electrode half reaction in order of decreasing standard potential are been arranged so that we could predict that which one of the electrode will undergo oxidation very easily or it will show the um, reduction very easily so depending on that we could take a particular electrode as anode and we could take a particular electrode as cathode also so this is the series that i am going to uh, talk uh, about it so uh, for that instance i have taken an example in this we could see that this is small arrangement uh, there are uh, more uh, electrochemical series uh, which includes a number of electrodes more number of electrodes but here i have present only few of it so in this case the electrode which is present on the left hand side as you could see there are multiple electrodes that are been placed on the left hand side and this is the half reaction that is shown uh, by that electrode and all the reactions are basically the reduction reaction in this case the reduction potential that is e not is also been represented in terms of volt and as we could see that this value that is plus 2.87 is for the fluorine electrode which is been kept and again since fluorine is a gas so therefore a uh, inert electrode that is platinum is being used in this case so talking about this thing this f2 will accept two electrons so therefore this species that is f2 plus 2 uh, electrons is acting like a oxidizing agent while that of 2f minus is acting like a reducing agent so therefore this uh, electrochemical series are been divided into two compartments or two uh, uh, distinguished values one is an oxidizing agent and one is the uh, reducing agents so the one which has the reducing agents have the higher value that is uh, 2.87 when you when we are talking about uh, this reaction so this all reaction has the value which is related to reduction potential and it is not related to oxidation potential means this electrodes have the tendency to gain electron or to reduce but it has been found that the one which has the higher value will have the higher possibility to accept electron and the one who can accept electron undergoes reduction process and yes and the one who undergoes reduction process is known as an oxidizing agent so this have the tendency of higher this is the highest uh, oxidizing agent while the value will go on decreasing as we move from chlorine till uh, silver and again till h2 the value is 0.0, .0. it means that the potential of the hydrogen electrode with, that we have did earlier also is found to be zero volt and below that the value starts from negative so the higher the negative value of the reduction potential the more is the capability to donate electron so and as the one who can donate electron will act like anode because anode in anode only oxidation reaction takes place and they have the uh, capacity to donate electron in this thing the li plus is accepting electron to form li which is in solid state but the reduction potential is found to be minus 3.04 so what would be the oxidation potential it would be plus 3.04 so by this method we could easily uh, say that the magnitude doesn't changes only the sign changes when it comes to the electron uh, potential in terms of reduction potential or electrode potential in terms of oxidation potential so this where the 
few examples that I have been provided. So let us see that uh, what other uh, information that we could predict whether this would act as an oxidizing agent or this or any one of this uh, electrode would act like a reducing agent. So for that I have a question for you in which they have been asking we have to determine the better oxidizing agent in the following pair and in this thing they all are in standard state condition so i have been presented two electrodes that is br2 and uh, gold that is au3 plus so in this thing the value have also been provided to us which is the reduction potential that is 1.09 volt for bromine electrode and 1.4 for the gold ion electrode so in this case we have to predict that which one would be the better oxidizing agent so let me tell you oxidizing agent means the one who will show reduction process and we did now itself that in electrochemical series that the one which has the highest positive value uh, of the reduction potential has a capacity to take electron or has a capacity to show uh, more capability of an oxidizing agent so in this case the gold ion has the value 1.4 which is larger than or uh, which is greater than 1.09 volt of bromine so in this case it has been easily indicated or we could easily indicate that the gold ions can act as a better oxidizing agent when compared to br2 because this will undergo oxidation uh, sorry this will undergo reduction more easily and hence it is known as an oxidizing agent so this is the correct answer talking about the next one so this is the another question that i have been provided to you in this case h plus has been provided and silver uh, ions are been provided so suppose if both the electrodes uh, or both the ions i have mentioned with their uh, reduction potential values in this case for hydrogen it is 0, 0.0 volt and in case of ag plus ions it is 0.8 volt so we have to predict that which one would be acting as a stronger oxidizing agent yes again right because this has the higher value compared to the uh, hydrogen so this value is again a positive value so means it has the capability to take electron and the one who can take or gain electron is showing uh, is uh, that process known as reduction process and this reduction process are shown by oxidizing agent so therefore compared to this two the silver ion is the one which is a better oxidizing agent compared to the hydrogen now talking about the next one i think this would be a very tricky but yes we could uh, we can do it this uh, with the help of the information that we have collected and we have studied it, what is electrochemical series so in this case pv2 plus ions and co2 plus ions the both are being mentioned with their uh, reduction potential values that is minus 0.13 volt for pv2 plus and minus 0.28 volt for uh, cobalt 2 plus and in this case we have to predict that which one would be the better oxidizing agent i hope you have got an idea yes the one which has a higher value but higher positive value will act like a uh, oxidizing agent that will undergo reduction process so in this case z minus 0 0.13 is greater than minus 0 0.28 so in this case i could easily predict that this would show reduction reaction more compared to this this co2 plus and then since this is showing the reduction reaction more easily or more feasibly so therefore this has the capacity to become an ox a better oxidizing agent compared to this one so therefore the pv2 plus ion is a better oxidizing agent compared to the cobalt 2 plus ion so i hope we have got an idea that how can we predict uh, this kind of uh, things that uh, which one will act as anode or which one will act like a cathode a particular electrode can act like an anode or cathode and uh, which kind of reaction a particular anode or electrode uh, can show so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have understood this concept very easily so share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGeta channel thank you so much